So there is a brand new Fiend quest in WWE Supercard. How's it going, everybody? My name's Nuology, and I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. So I want to start this video off by giving a shout out to two people. Uh, the first one being Foxy, one of my good subscribers, for providing me with this information about there being a Fiend quest, because I had no idea that there even was a Fiend quest in the game. And also, Supercard Metal Coat for actually having screenshots and images to show off of the brand new Fiend card and also of the quest and stuff like that too, which I will be showing off these screenshots here in just a little bit. Now let's talk about how you get this quest even activated. From what Foxy is telling me, you have to keep playing wild mode and you have to wait for the rambling rabbit to pop up on your screen. And once he pops up on your screen, you're supposed to tap on him really fast. And then the fiend's supposed to pop up or something like that. And then the quest will be activated for you. It's not like a normal quest where you just get the quest to show up and that's it. This one, you have to wait for rambling rabbit to pop up and then you have to tap on him to actually activate it. Now, I'm not sure if Rambling Rabbit will show up in any other game modes besides just Wild Mode. Um, Foxy said just play Wild Mode and he should pop up there eventually. Um, but let me know if you have uh, had Rambling Rabbit pop up for you in any other game modes because I would love to know if it's actually possible. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep playing a crap ton of Wild Mode games until I actually, you know, experience Rambling Rabbit pop up so I could get this quest going. Uh, it probably won't happen here in the video. It would be cool if he would pop up so I could show you guys what I'm talking about. But I don't think he is going to pop up, unfortunately. Let me know if you got the quest, though, activated for yourselves. Uh, anyways, guys, after this game, I do want to show off the card and the screenshots and stuff like that regarding the quest. Uh, but before I get into doing this, and I have a few other things to do in this video, too. But before I get into doing this stuff, if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this video, make sure you smash the like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver. Also be sure to click the subscribe button as well because I am on the road to 19,000 subscribers and it would be really cool to hit that sometime very soon. So please subscribe, please turn on the post notification bell so this way you also stay up to date with the latest and greatest super card content. But with that being said now, ladies and gentlemen, let me get into talking about these screenshots and showing them off for you guys. Up first here, this is what the brand new Fiend card looks like and oh my goodness is this thing scary and beautiful looking at the same time I love it I love how it says let me in you got Abby the witch there mercy the buzzard on the artwork for the card and it looks really cool it looks like he's coming out of like a closet or something like that uh, so it is a really cool card really cool image nonetheless now when you guys get the quest activated and you start completing the objectives each objective is going to give you a character from the Firefly Funhouse. Uh, you got Abby the Witch, you got Huskus the Pig, you got Mercy the Buzzard, and you also got Ramblin' Rabbit. And like I said, each objective that you complete from the quest will give you uh, these characters. And I'm guessing once you get these characters, you're then gonna have to throw them into a fusion to then create the Fiend card. That's at least what I think anyways, because why would you have to get ingredients unless you had to put it towards a fusion? So it only makes sense, you know what I mean? And this is what some of the quest is going to look like. Sorry if it's a little cut off. This is how Supercard Metal Coat has it uploaded on his Instagram. He only has part of the quest showing, but here's some of the objectives that you're going to have to do. Obtain a Halloween Superstar card four times. Start a promotional fusion ten times. Uh, you got the event perfection one. So let me know what you guys think about this. It's pretty interesting. And once you do complete the quest as a bonus, you do get a wishbone pack. So that is pretty cool if I do say so myself. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about this quest. Do you like it? Do you think it's cool? I think it's awesome. Now, will you be able to pro the Fiend card? I'm pretty sure you will. I, I don't see why they would make it to where you can only get one. Uh, how you get a second one to make a pro, I have no idea. Maybe there'll be a special Halloween event coming up where you can earn the second Fiend card. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure the card is going to be proable because it wouldn't make sense to have it just to where you could get a single of it, you know, because that's not going to help most people out. Uh, so yeah. There will be a way, I'm sure, to pro it, but how, I just don't know yet. I guess we'll have to wait and see if Supercard announces anything. I think, personally, they're going to put it, though, in, like, a future event, maybe a team event or something like that. You never know. 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, but anyways, guys, as you can see, no rambling rabbit just yet here for me. Uh, but after this, guys, I want to dive into claiming a King of the Ring reward. I did make it to the semi-finals, so that's pretty interesting. And, uh, my girlfriend also got a King of the Ring reward for me to claim, too. She made it to the finals, so she did a little bit better than me. And, uh, currently, guys, I have the Reanimator Fusion cooking, so I cannot wait to claim this in a future video for you guys. I'm hoping to get my first Halloween Superstar card from this, so that will be pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, guys, now let me dive into claiming my King of the Ring reward, and let's see what I get. Alright, so here we go. You guys ready for this? Let's see what I get in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, 25 draft picks and 2 WrestleMania 35 cards. Okay, the first WrestleMania 35 is Charlotte Flair, and woo! Alright, and for the final one now, guys, I get Roderick Strong there, so what do you think about those? And oh, really quick, guys, I want to take a look at the login bonus packs, because I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some Halloween stuff in here, so let's take a look at the login bonus packs really quick. Okay, so, uh, let's see, do you get anything from any of these? So, one male cataclysm, oh, okay, you get five bones from this last one, uh, so that's pretty cool. What about from the other one? So, the WrestleMania 35, you get five bones hardened. Okay, uh, let's see, Shattered, you get five bones hardened. Okay, Neon, five bones. Okay, so from all of these guys, uh, you're getting five bones, so that's pretty cool. Personally, what I think they should have done is they should have given us a guaranteed Halloween card for the final login bonus pack. I think that would have been a really good idea. Why they didn't do that, I have no idea. I'm not Cat Daddy, but I think I would make some pretty good decisions if I did work for Cat Daddy. Uh, but yeah, guys, we are getting five bones at least from these packs, which, you know, does help out a little bit. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it, ladies and gentlemen. What I actually miss, though, in this game is uh, the pumpkins. Do you guys remember the pumpkins that you were able to pull from the draft board? And then um, on Halloween, those pumpkins would then harvest into superstars. I really like that idea. I think it made it really fun and interesting. I really wish they would have went with something like that this year. But it seems like now all of the promotional stuff tends to uh, become fusion things, you know? So uh, they made this into a fusion event. I, I don't have a problem with that. But... But I just think it was more exciting pulling the pumpkins and then on Halloween seeing all those pumpkins harvest in the superstars. It just made it really fun and made it really exciting in my opinion and um, you know I wish they would have done that this year. Maybe they'll do it next year again. I don't know. Um, I do think the skeleton idea is really cool though too. I'm kind of glad that they uh, changed it up a little bit and didn't just give us zombie cards again you know for like the second year in a row. I'm glad that we're actually getting skeletons this time so uh, it is pretty cool. But uh, anyways, guys, now with all of this Halloween stuff being talked about here in this video, uh, let's head over to my girlfriend's account now to get into claiming her King of the Ring reward. Oh my goodness, I made an oopsie, guys. So I got on my girlfriend's account. I went to click Start Recording in OBS, but instead accidentally clicked Start Streaming. So uh, I opened up the King of the Ring rewards, and uh, yeah, I was actually streaming instead of recording. So I did not get that, unfortunately. Uh, but I still do have uh, something to feature here on her account, which is her SummerSlam 19 Fusion. Sorry about that, guys. But in case you're interested in wondering what she got from her uh, King of the Ring rewards, she got a Cataclysm Sting, a WrestleMania 35 Sarah Logan, and also 25 draft picks. Uh, I cannot believe I just did that. I was looking and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. It says stop streaming, not stop recording. So I was like, oopsie. I was uh, streaming, not recording. Uh, but anyways, guys, let's get into claiming her SummerSlam 19 Fusion and let's see what she ends up getting from this. Okay, so she gets, oh, she gets Natalia. okay, not a bad one, it's a female, okay, not bad at all, if I do say so myself, uh, but anyways, guys, that's gonna do it here for this video, I do wanna thank you all so much for watching, would Natalia be a pro for you, let me know, uh, but yeah, I do wanna thank you all so much for watching, remember, if you did go on to enjoy the video, to smash the like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver, and if you're new to the channel and enjoy daily supercard videos make sure you do subscribe as well 
this is the channel to subscribe to for awesome super card content and if you never want to miss a single video from me here on the channel ever again make sure you also turn on the post notification bell as well to join the coolest squad here on youtube which of course is the nullification squad but anyways ladies and gentlemen i hope you all have an awesome rest of your day or night and until next time i'm out for now peace